Hello and welcome to another Tempo Storm Standard video. Saviors of Oldum is being released in a few days, and in today's episode we will be looking at our legendary card picks from the new expansion. There are 23 new legendaries being introduced from the set, but we've narrowed it down to the ones we think will be the most impactful. Before we start, make sure to subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with our Hearthstone videos. There will be a lot of new upcoming content with Savers of Oldoom that you won't want to miss. Now let's begin. Starting us off is Zephyrus the Great, one of the new neutral legendaries. This card is one of the most interesting and unique legendaries that was released from the new expansion. Zephyrus features a new mechanic that will identify the best card from the classic or basic sets based on the specific scenario you're in and give you that card. For example, if your opponent is at 6 health and you play Zephyrus, you will be given a fireball for lethal. This is the first time this type of mechanic has been introduced into the game and will definitely make for some interesting matches. For anyone looking to play Highlander decks, this will definitely be an auto-include and will most likely be seeing a lot of play. Next up we have Untapped Potential. Druid has only had access to one competitive archetype for the last few months, which was Token Druid, but with this new card there is definitely some potential for that to change. This is one of the better quest cards and seems that it will end up seeing a decent amount of play as there are a lot of new support cards for this deck as well. Once the quest is activated, it will be fairly easy to generate a ton of value with new cards as well as the other Choose One class cards. Corrupt the Waters is another standout legendary quest card from the Shaman class. In the current meta, Mutate Shaman is a deck that was already playing a majority of Battlecry cards such as Sludge Slurper, Giggling Inventor, and Shutterwalk. Now the Mutate Shaman has other Battlecry cards from the new set as well, such as Sandstorm Elemental and Weaponized Wasp. Corrupt the Waters is essentially a buff to this existing archetype that allows you to generate more value off of your Battlecry cards once the quest is complete. If Warrior continues to be dominant in the meta, this Shaman archetype will be even better against it now. Something to note, this Shaman deck typically struggled against Conjurer's Mage, but it now also has a decent answer thanks to the new card Plague of Murlocs. The new legendary Shaman minion, Vecina, also might end up seeing some play in this deck if the archetype finds itself running more minions and several overload. Next up, we have a new Priest Legendary. High Priest Amit. It's no surprise that Priest has been in a rough spot during the last few months, but with the new Savers of Oldum set, we might also be seeing the Savior of Priests as well. The class has received a lot of good cards from this expansion, and High Priest Amit is one of them. It's a decent sized body for only 4 mana that will need to be dealt with almost immediately because of its effect. If you manage to keep it healthy and if it doesn't get silenced, it can pose a large threat. Once comboed with Divine Spirit or other health buffing cards, the results can be game ending. Regardless of which Priest archetype ends up being seen in the upcoming meta, this card will definitely be very present. Last but not least, we have Siamat, a neutral legendary with a new versatile mechanic that allows you to choose two effects between Rush, Taunt, Divine Shield, or Wind Fury. This makes for a very flexible card, as you can use it in several different situations. This card has been drawing a lot of comparisons to Ziliax. One glaring difference between Siamat and Ziliax is the Mech Tribe. Ziliax has the ability to be combined with mechs to buff existing threats. On top of this, Ziliax having Lifesteal is really impactful as well. Siamat seems to be an extremely powerful card and will likely see a large amount of play, especially in Highlander decks if they are popular. In conclusion, these are the legendary minions that we think will be the most impactful in the new expansion. It's impossible to know for sure which ones will perform the best, but based on our standard experts game knowledge, these are the ones that we think will have the biggest effect. Let us know which legendary cards you're looking forward to playing with the most in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with our upcoming videos. Until next time!